Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Obsidian Community plugin inline scripts and show off its card capabilities. First, I want everyone to watch the plugins creators video on how to do this, shown here, also a link in the description. Make sure you leave them a like and a comment. I will go from a newly created Obsidian Vault to using inline scripts. The cards I will be showing will be the Mythic Game Master emulator deck. The deck is available at DriveThruRPG, and the printed cards are of superb quality. Uh, I would recommend going and buying them. Link in the description. And it's a non-affiliate link. First, let's install the Community Plugin. We'll go to Settings, Community Plugins. We need to enable Community Plugins. And now, we'll browse the Community Plugins, and we'll search for inline scripts if I spelled it correctly install now we need to enable it and then we'll go down here and click the options button We'll want to import the full library of functionality. And now you should have a big list of things that you can do. Um, a lot of them are UNE, cards functionality, some Mythic Game Master emulators, some RPG tools, and other things like that. If you are migrating from an older version of inline scripts, you'll need to reset and re-import and you'll probably have to reset all your card piles. Now the inline scripts plugin has been installed, enabled, and extra functionality imported. We can begin using the inline cards functionality. First, let's create two card piles. We'll need to create a folder or a file for that. So we'll create a new note and we'll call this cards demo. So now we'll set a couple decks or a couple piles. We'll do three piles, one for deck, one for hand, and one for discard. If you're using the game, game Mythic Game Master emulator and following the rules, you'll notice that you don't discard your cards directly back into the deck. They need to go into a discard pile. And we'll want to keep our hand clear so we can see what's actually in it. So let's create the three piles. First we'll do cards file, deck, and then we'll set it to face down. And we don't need to show mood, so we can leave that blank. Notice that I have a space at the end of down. That's just something that I do in order to make sure I get all the options. And if you're multiple options and you don't need them all, then you can either do the double colon at the end or you can space through them all. So now we have a deck, or we have a pile called deck created. Oops, I messed up my hand pile. Let's recreate that real quick. Cards. File settings. Oop, settings. Hand face up and yes. So now we'll do cards, file, discard, down, and no. So now we have three piles set up, and if we do cards, list, we can see our piles. Notice that there are no cards in the pile, and that is because we have not imported them from a folder yet. Notice that in our folder or file list, we don't even have cards yet. So we'll need to import them. I have the Mythic Game Master emulator card deck that I downloaded from Myth or drive through RPG's library client. The file will be called Mythic Deck 
individual card images. I will extract those. And it should create a folder similar to this. We won't need all these cards because we don't need the instruction cards. We don't need the deck backs or any of that stuff. And we'll, par we'll take out the uh, chaos factor settings. And the, or not the chaos factor settings, but the character numbers. So we'll just go ahead and delete these. And we'll delete the rules and the card backs. Make sure you keep the shuffle card. That's important. And now we'll go back. We'll rename this to GME. Cut. Now I'm in my Obsidian Vault. We'll make a folder called Cards. And we'll uh, put those in here called Mythic. Boom. So now if we go back to Obsidian, we should see our Cards folder with our Mythic folder and GME with all of our cards. We can see them right there. So I'm going to keep that folder structure open so I can see what I'm typing. Let's import the cards into a deck, or a pile rather, into the deck pile. Cards from folder into my deck pile from cards, mythic, GME. Now, notice that I don't have any spaces here. Your mileage may vary. I'm not a huge space fan, especially when it comes to stuff like this and dealing with the file structure. So if you're using spaces, you may have uh, different, ver different results. 101 cards. Cool. That seems like the appropriate number. I don't really know. I think there may be some extras or stuff that I'm missing. So now we'll... Uh, draw some cards into our hand and make it work for us. So now we do cards, draw, um, we'll do one card to my hand from the deck. And that seems a little hard to read. Looks like it's setting an automatic size, so we'll have to change the size of the cards. Cards, settings, default size of, let's go 300, and we'll see how big that makes them. Let's recall the cards. And we'll shuffle the deck now. Cards, shuffle the deck, and we'll rotate them just because we want some variation in our cards. Let's redraw our cards. Cards, draw one into hand from deck. Boom, so that's a little bit easier to read. So you should be able to read the content here as you normally would, and it should show how you would read your cards. Now say you didn't get the answer you wanted and you needed to draw more cards, Simply just draw their cards, draw one in the hand from deck, and then boom. So now we got two cards in our hand. If I do cards list, show that I have two cards. So now normally if when I'm done with this question and I want to move on to the next question of myth or mythic fate question. I would move my hand, cards in my hand to the discard pile and then continue drawing into my hand. So let's move them into my hand or my discard pile. Cards draw into discard. Oop, did I do something wrong? Yep. Draw to discard from hand. Boom. So now if I do 
cards list. They're in my discard hand. So let's draw one more into my normal hand, and then we'll do a recall. Cards, draw one into hand from deck. Boom. Now they're not all going to be like this. They're going to be rotated. It just happens to be that I'm very lucky and I got an exceptional yes. Should the question be, Phil is awesome? I think so. So let's recall the cards. And we've returned all of our cards from our hands to the deck, the origin pile. Inline Scripts is pretty smart about how it tracks the cards. As long as you import all the cards into one pile and then you draw into other piles and you recall, then it should all go back to the same pile that it originated from. So now that we've got our cards back in our deck, we should be able to shuffle. So I say cards, shuffle, deck, rotate because we want some variance. And now we're ready to draw again. This has been my example of how to use inline scripts with cards. Some other things that I do is set up my card piles using and import the decks into a one file and then actually do the drawing and displaying in another file where I am doing my solo RPG writing. This helps keep clutter and other unnecessary messages in out of my solo RPG writing and makes it so that way you're focused on actual what is happening, not a bunch of status messages.